Margaret from Heidi and Lana. Today I'm going to show you how to cast on stitches onto one double pointed needle and then transfer those stitches to your other double points and join to work in the round with just a few stitches. So to begin with, you're going to be using just one double pointed needle and you're going to cast on all of your stitches onto that needle. and I'm using the long tail cast on. Then you're going to slide the stitches down to the other end of the needle and take another double pointed needle and then you're going to transfer those stitches onto the other needle and I'm just inserting the tip purlwise into that first stitch that I cast on. And this needle that we're transferring them onto becomes needle number one. So I've transferred two stitches onto needle number one then I'm going to transfer just one stitch onto what will be needle number two. And then I'm going to leave the last stitch on needle number three. And I'm just going to slide everything up here and just be real careful not to twist any of your stitches. I like to do this over a table so that you have something to support your yarn and your needles. And then I'm going to take the fourth needle and I'm going to insert it into the first stitch on needle number one. And then just be careful not to start knitting with your tail. And I'm going to knit into the front and the back of this first stitch. And the first couple rows are a little bit tight and fiddly. And then after I've worked that first stitch, I like to use a pin progress marker to mark the beginning of the round. And so I'm just going to pin this onto that first stitch into the cast on, not into the stitch that's still on the needle, but into the stitch below. And the reason I like to use a progress marker instead of a regular stitch marker is because if you put a regular stitch marker on the end of the needle, it's just going to keep sliding off. And then if you put it between the first and the second stitch, when you're increasing, it keeps getting shifted over each time you increase. So every couple of rows, I'll just move the pin up to follow that first stitch. And then once I switch to circular needles, I'll use a regular stitch marker. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and Facebook, all under Heidi and Lana. Happy knitting!